Hey guys, hey beautiful, welcome to my YouTube channel, Nami Be Madam Sabi Cook. In today's episode, I want to show you guys how to make Nigerian pasty smoky beef stew. Okay, you are gonna learn a lot. Okay, this is not your regular, this is not your usual. Guys, that's what I'm craving, so that's what I want to make today. I have some beef at home. I have beef at home, I have some of the things that I need to make a beef stew at home. So I'm going to go straight into the kitchen to start making it. Meanwhile, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If you have not subscribed, please do that now. Subscribe, subscription is absolutely free. And please, when you subscribe, remember to turn on the notification bell beside it so that you'll be the first to get a notification anytime I upload a new video, okay? All right, so it's raining, guys. It's raining, let me show you. It's raining. It's raining, guys. I just love the weather. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. It's raining, raining. So it's raining. It's raining, but I want to go into the kitchen right now to make my Nigerian patty smoky beef stew. You do enjoy this one. Trust me, guys. This is a dated version. You know, I usually have my own style of making my dish. I have my secret ingredients. I always have my uh, recipes, my own ingredients. Each, each time I want to recreate any recipe, I always include my own. So I want you guys to join me. You are going to enjoy it. Let's go. Chef 2 3 from we day. Open that program we day. Kitchen program we day. Chapu chapu let's we day. Madam Sabi cook. She day all can play. For South TV. We day all can play. Chef 2 3 4. Make we day cook. Make we day chapu late. And make we day belle fool. Now me be Madam Sabi cook. <laughs> For South TV. We day all can play. Without further ado, guys, let me show you how to make this super delicious Nigerian party smoky beef stew. So you'll be needing beef for this. I added some thyme, curry powder, salt, seasoning cubes. Then I add one pepper and some onions to it so right now i'm going to after adding the onions i'm going to stir everything together mix it together so that the ingredient goes into the beef very well okay so when i'm done stirring it together then i'll cover and cook until it is tender so so right now see how it's doing there is no more water no more stock in it yes look at how it's looking guys this is so beautiful this is exactly how i want it so right about now i'm going to add some water to it to enable it to cook further so let's continue our cooking guys So now this has been cooking for another 10 minutes so after t another 10 minutes this is what it looks like so right now i think it is okay everything is so so on point please if you have not subscribed let me not remind you again now please i beg you subscribe so I'm going to set this aside then we'll move over to our tomatoes. So right now I'm going to be roasting these tomatoes, pepper, shombo and onions with garlic. I'm going to be roasting everything together. Now this is the secret, the secret behind that smoky stew guys. So now I am done smoking them. I actually use my oven to smoke them. After smoking it, I blended it like this as you're seeing from the video look at how smooth it is yes look at the texture it is you can see the smoke is still coming out of the uh, tomatoes okay so it actually even the roasting makes it very easier for you to blend 
okay so now we are done blending so let's start making our stew i added some vegetable oil plenty of it yes for nigerian stew you need plenty of vegetable oil yes i know that a lot of us don't like it but hey that's that's our own style of of making our stew so you have to add the oil i added some onions so i'm going to saute this for a few minutes so after a few minutes i'm going to be adding the blended pepper roasted pepper tomato mix into the pot so you give it a quick mix let everything mix together then we start adding our ingredients so i added some thyme curry salt seasoning cubes then i'll stir to combine now these are the major ingredients for this party beef stew okay so now this is what it looks af like after 15 minutes so look at my meat i grilled this in the oven look at how beautiful and gorgeous it looks if you don't have an oven you can actually fry yours if you don't have any of the two leave it like that i bet you know go to yourself all right look at how it looks right about now so now how you know that your stew is ready when the oil start bubbling on top of the tomatoes on top of the pot then you know that your stew is ready okay so look at how it is right about now so i'm going to start adding the meat the grilled meat goes straight into the pot at this point then you mix everything together mix it thoroughly oh gosh look at look at now so after adding it you just leave it for a few more minutes and your stew is ready let me know if this is helpful let me know if you'll be trying this out guys i beg until i come with a wear again make good that it cook Make una the chocolate and make una the belle fou. Na me be Madame Sabi Cook. See you guys in my next video. Bye.